All right, and today I'm testing my transmission shift solenoid here. It came out from my 2010 Toyota Tacoma with a 5.7 liter engine, and I'm gonna be using a 12 volt battery here, very well charged, a multimeter here, and a pair of alligators here, as you can see them, these banana type wires, and a 21 watt bulb. Why right, I'm gonna grab the shift solenoid here. The pins inside very tiny, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert this. It remains kind of loose, it doesn't stay too tight. Here is the banana type. And I'm gonna get the other one here. See if it goes like this. Right there. Now the pin on this side is part is negative. Negative pin number one and pin number two on the right hand side right there. This is pin number two is positive. This is the bulb here. I'm gonna insert this wire like this. Like this. And another one on the other end here, like this. And this one we can connect it to the positive right now. That's how it's going to be. And we're gonna connect it. We're gonna grab the shift solenoid, connect it to here, connect it right there. And to the positive of the battery right there. So I'm gonna see if I can get this here. So now what's gonna happen is if this shift solenoid is good, this is gonna illuminate once I connect it here on the negative, but it's gonna be dim, not completely illuminated. And this is gonna making a big operational noise. That means the plunger inside is actuating. Now when I connect it, but one side take off the wire from the battery, from the negative, let's see. Right there, as you can see. see do you hear that big click? One side took off the wire from the negative. It also clicks when I connect it, but not as strong as when I disconnect it. Do you guys hear that big click when I disconnect it? Let's disconnect it again. See? There we go. So this shift solenoid has passed this test. If the bulb will not turn on, this shift solenoid will be bad. Now, when that happens, just make sure you have good wires. They have canudity and the bulb is good. So before ruling out uh, that the solenoid is bad. So always make sure that happens. All right, the multimeter test. Put it in ohms. Ohms right there. Solenoid is kind of far away, but if I get between 5 and 5.6 ohms, this shift solenoid should be passing this test. Now, one thing before anything, before doing it, Toyota doesn't mention any of this, but this happens in so many cases. Most of the time, it will go over the amount of ohms that Toyota says, like for about uh, 1, 2, 3 ohms. That is fine. In my experience, I have done so many of these. Most of the time, I work in Toyota vehicles. That's what happens most of the time. I don't know if th this is going to be the case here, so let's see. Uh, 5.9, 5.8. Uh, sometimes you have to wait a while for the for the ohms to come down to 5.6. If it does, uh, there it goes. Uh, it went up to 5.7. So let's see. Yeah, it came down to 5.6, but sometimes it can go over a little bit, as I said, and that is totally fine. Uh, Toyota doesn't mention any, mention any of that, but in my my experience. I have done this so many times. Most of the shift solenoids, they go over the amount of ohms and that is totally fine. If it goes over about one, two, three ohms, not more than that. Let's see, there it goes. So between the 5.6 and 5.7 ohms, 5.6. So that is fine right there. So this shift solenoid has passed this test. It's good to be installed in a, in a vehicle that is compatible with, of course, this, as I said, it came out from a 2010 Toyota Tacoma. All right, and this is how you test a transmission shift solenoid. Remember, this one has two pins and a 2010 Toyota Tacoma. Thanks for watching this video and stay blessed.